Hello y'all, this is OWB Battlegrounds, a sub-mod for the Hearts of Iron 4 Old World Blues mod that takes place in the Fallout universe. Battlegrounds adds new focus trees and new playable areas on the map. With that out of the way, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. All it takes is less than a second. We're going to go to the Battlegrounds bookmark and select Odyssey, and that is the country we are going to be playing as. For some background, Odyssey controls Sykeston and some land surrounding it. It is led by Nicholas II, a charismatic and just ruler. At the moment, this nation is a sorry state with only hopes for a great future. We begin with no national spirits, and as for our army, we have five units with two starry commanders, both of which are pretty good. Also, I forgot to mention this earlier, but a lot of material in this mod is original, just so you're not confused about the Fallout cannon or anything. Looking at our military technology, we have pipe guns, as well as some unique looking special forces gear and power armor. Besides that, we have scrap motorcycles, as well as canoe tech. Checking out our military doctrines, it appears that we've already researched something in the conventional warfare section, so we might as well stick to that. Let's get going in the focus tree by completing the three introduction focuses as is the norm in Old World Blues. These focuses are named our backstory, our unification, and our goal. One cool thing that I have noticed is that Odyssey in particular in this mod has quite a lot of unique looking soldiers so to speak. The basic infantry, motorized, power armor troops, and special forces all have their own special textures that are all quite purple by design. Just a few days in and some raiders are already demanding tribute, of course we're going to say no, go away, try and raid us if you want. We weren't always an odyssey. Several years ago we were people with no clear path to follow. We got three choices for our backstory here. We're going to go with settlers because it will give us lots of bottle caps, manpower, and building slots. Our unification, we were settlers and life was kind of boring, but all that changed when a stranger named Nicholas walked into town. He talked about an ancient empire which at one point was the strongest in the whole world. For this event, we are going to click on the choice on the left called, We Found Someone to Follow. Oh, that's someone interesting. A war is going on relatively nearby between the power armor wearing Brotherhood remnants and the super mutants of Haymore's army. What is our main goal? With the help of Nicholas, the Odyssey was formed. He may be a monarch, but he understands what the simple folk want, and he rules with a kind heart. What do we want to do now? The choice is obvious, isn't it? We're going to have to go with rebirthing the Byzantine Empire for this one. In a focus tree, let's do the Odyssey and Bright Soul to get a war goal on a neighboring country. The battle over what I think is Kansas City is over. The Brotherhood beat the Super Mutants. We're getting ready to attack Bright Soul soon. This should be an easy war because I think we have a larger military, plus we have an offense specialist as the chief of the army. The Bright Soul focus is finished, so let's do Golden Glory and Beast Lord Disciples. Well, that was fast. An infantry unit and a cataphracts, aka our motorized, are about to take the enemy capital just a few days into the conflict. The next place we are going to expand into is Golden Glory, who may possibly have more soldiers than our previous opponent, but we should still outnumber them. Lannis' cohort in the west is doing something. Meanwhile, we obtain Glowstone, and soon we will capture the City of Lights. Let's set up to destroy our next enemy by completing Tranquilize the Disciples, Conquer the Den, and Tame the Beast. Golden Glory has been annexed by us right on schedule too because we are about to start a border war with the Beast Lord Disciples. The fight on the border is going well so far. I mean it should. We don't have power armor and special forces for nothing after all. Yeah, so it turns out we're losing now, which is not good obviously, so we are going to resort to Plan B, which is an outright invasion. The Odyssey has to keep growing in size, and to help with that, let's complete the focuses our West and the Brotherhood. The Beast Lord people are proving to be somewhat of a challenge. We did take some of their territory, however they managed to isolate one of our units. We might as well get into the army part of the focus tree, so let's do Army of Odyssey, Regular Army, and Phalanx. Speaking of Phalanx, we will deploy three more of them soon because we need all the soldiers we can get in this war. Our motorized cataphracts with their motorcycles are making their way to the important city of St. Louis. With the fall of the gateway to the west, now we gotta capture some place called Mark Twain 
in order to win the war. One more state for us to secure and this should be over. I'd hope so anyway. More Lanford Odyssey. We are getting closer to our dream of realizing the recreation of the ancient empire Nicholas told the people about. Before we do battle with the Brotherhood, we're going to have to first get Kiosk and its leader, Regional Commander Norman, out of the way. Ah, uh, motorized is so good. The war with the remnants of you know what is soon to begin. Our plan is for an all-out assault that should be able to secure all their victory point locations such as Kansas City and the Midwest Bunker. Continuing our way through the military part of the focus tree, let's complete Phalanx Tactics, Odyssey's Special Forces, and Golden Swords because power armor is overrated, clearly. We have overwhelmed the Brotherhood in most areas except for the ones that coincidentally have all their best troops located there. To the south of us, Octaw's expansion has declared war on the Choctaw Nation. The BOS is fighting down to their last man. That's quite defiant, I'll give them that. We are doing the wrapping of the Odyssey focus. Once it is done, we will have war goals on the Bees, the Blood River outskirts, and the White Lines. We are going to strike at the Bees first, then the White Lines, who are guaranteed by Blood River, and then the Blood River outskirts, who is a puppet of Blood River. You can probably see where this is heading. More focuses, let's do Retribution, Church of Flame, Bright Forces, City of Lights, Glowstone, and Light Forces. As expected, we are going to have to fight Blood River. I'm not too worried though because they are busy dealing with the Reber movement to the north. The territory of the White Lions and the outskirts are almost entirely under our control. Meanwhile, the Crimson River is about to get defeated by the Reapers. Bright Forces is finished, and as a result, we get four new divisions of so-called Bright Souls. News from the rest of the Wasteland, Octaw's expansion annexed all the other Native American countries, and the Mojave Brotherhood of Steel was annihilated. We find ourselves in a peace conference. Let's just try to get the things we need and nothing else, because the Reaper movement has a lot more war score than us. With all the prerequisite land acquired as soon as we are able, we are going to do the focus rebirth of the Byzantine Empire. Byzantium is reborn in the former U.S. state of Missouri, but it is Byzantium nonetheless. Odyssey shall become the second Byzantine Empire. Due to the transformation, we have got ourselves some new focuses such as the Great Byzantine Campaign and the Great Byzantine Army. Besides the name change, our country has got a new flag and Nicholas II now has a much more grandiose portrait befitting his status as an emperor. Octa's expansion stays true to its name by attempting to expand into the land of the people known as the Elusive. In the swamps of the south, the cannery has come under attack attack from a large group of feral ghouls. Through a focus, we got four new divisions of Leidner units. They seem to have a thing for ballistic equipment and explosives. We want to get Great Byzantine Armies, so in order to get there, we're going to do Golden Swords Expansion, OSF Expansion, Expanded Training Program, Byzantine Special Forces, and Byzantine Army. Octa's Expansion, who defeated the Elusives, is now fighting the Skeletons and Pineapple Town. The Second Byzantine Empire is always wanting more land, so to achieve that, we are going to start an incursion into Trailblazers territory. The Trail of Blazers has at most 22 divisions. We, by comparison, have 47, which gives us a major numerical advantage. We're going to invade the Reber movement next, just because I think we should have got all the Blood River land and not them. We're going to use the tactic of a fallback line to force the enemy to extend their army outward to the point where we can use the strength of our numbers to its greatest ability. Kaisar's Legion has overrun the Mojave. As a fellow definitely true Roman nation, I approve. The advancing Reavers have had their main forces separated and that has made an opening in the narrow passage into their heartland. Just one long march to Newton and our triumph shall be complete. Very good as a result of our efforts, the name of our country looks even larger on the world map. Looking across the wasteland, I wonder to myself, how did a guy nicknamed the Monster of the East lose to the Summers Federation? That was fun. We started out as Odyssey and then became the second Byzantine Empire and in the process of all that, demolished any opposition we ran into. The video is going to end here. If you enjoyed the mod, check it out in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment because it helps the algorithm recommend the video more. Have an awesome day. I'll see you later. Bye.